Hey guys, so here I am at the airport and I'm gonna try to be really quiet because I don't know if everybody here wants like this earth shattering pep talk right now, but here we go. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys because this belief, this is this belief is the foundational fundamental belief that if you have this belief reversed and flipped upside down actually is the source of all your anxiety and all of your depression all of those yucky emotions that we tend to want to avoid right the stress the anxiety so here's my story i'm going to share with you guys my story my crazy day so i got up and i have weird lighting guys i'm sorry i'm trying to do this in the airport here um got up at 3 a.m to head to this retreat that i'm training in southern utah and I'm getting all my bags packed. I'm getting everything organized. I'm getting everything all put together. Hey, Brad, thank you for joining us. Um, I'm getting everything put together to go to this retreat. And all these bags, and I'm packing all of my food because I'm getting ready for this next fitness competition. So I have like very specific diet and all of that. And hello, Muhammad. And I'm getting everything together. And I'm feeling a little bit of the, you know, the traveling anxious things right? You know those feelings when you're, you're traveling and you have a specific schedule and you have flights to catch and Ubers and I have like all these books, like I have this huge suitcase right now I'm hauling with me. It's like a hundred pounds full of books and workbooks and all this stuff. So I'm like, ah, it's a little bit stressful, right? Hi, Kim. And so I'm getting everything ready to get out the door. I got up at 3 a.m. My Uber's coming at 4.30. I'm getting everything put together and I'm feeling these little like anxious feelings that are semi excited right and this this is where the key is hey Sh Shasta Perkins hi anyways so I'm getting ready and I'm feeling these feelings of anxiousness I get to the airport I get my bag checked I get stopped at security because of my food which I planned for extra time for that because typically if you're bringing food through they like to check all these little things so they swipe some things down and I made it through I got my food I got to my gate and I'm like ah, all right I made it I'm good hi Sarah Phillips I get to my gate and but I'm still feeling this anxious feeling I'm like what the crap is this anxious feeling and then I look and I realize that my boarding pass says that I'm gonna have assigned seating and which usually just means you like book the flight late and maybe they had overbookings or whatever but then the lady at the desk starts kind of she announces, hey, you know, we've been overbooked flight. If you're willing to, uh, you know, delay, give up your seat, you can uh, get this voucher or whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty normal. And um, so I'm not getting too worried yet. And then she starts getting more and more anxious. Like every five minutes now, she's coming on. Um, we are an overbooked flight. Uh, please, um, would somebody give up their seat? And I'm starting to get nervous now. Hi, Ginger. Good morning. I'm starting to get really anxious now because my flight, I like, I have to get on this plane to get to this place to do this. And then I have all these meetings booked up right when I get there, right? Like back to back to back for my training, my speaking, my coaching. And I'm so excited, right? And so I start feeling this nervous feeling and I'm like, holy crap here I am the mind mentor and I'm like getting in my head about this crap right can you guys relate give me give me a one in the comments below if you can relate to this where you know it's like you know better in your mind you're like come on I know like maybe you'll be on an airplane and you start having like these like imagining daydreams of like crashing and burning right and you're, you're sitting there going okay I'm an adult I know better than this or like the whole monster in the closet thing okay that's so not me I don't think there's monsters anymore under my bed but Anyways, give me, yes, you can totally relate, Kim. Absolutely. So, yes, and Brad too. So here I am having these feelings, and I'm like, all right, I got to get my head turned around right now. I got to get my head on straight. And I took a deep breath, and I got recentered and reconnected, and was like, all right, what do I know to be true? And this is the belief. This is the key belief that really does determine success and failure. And I'm excited to show you how this actually shows up, how this works. So give me some hearts if you're ready for me to show you how you can actually apply this straight up right into your life right now. So this is what I recognize. Hi, Jill. I'm sitting here getting anxious about my flight. And then I stopped and went, wait a minute. I can choose to believe right now in this moment that I'm a victim of circumstance and that this day is just going to happen to me and that I just better buckle in. I'm along for the ride and here it comes ready to smack me in the face. Or I could choose to believe that, you know what? 
everything happens for a reason. And life is actually happening for me. And if there is some reason why I am meant to be delayed, why I'm meant to miss this flight and I'm meant to arrive late, then bring it on, baby. And all it took was that slight reorientation in my belief systems, my slight shift from, oh shit, what's about to happen? This is happening to me, to, oh my gosh, life actually is set up to happen for me. And this can be magical. And I'm about to create a really epic story no matter what happens. And here's where all of our anxiety and stress and disappointment comes from, you guys. This is where it comes from, is when we have the belief that we are wrong, that we're not in the right place at the right time, that something's a mistake. If you believe something you're doing is a mistake, in my business in the beginning, I struggled in marketing and I still <laughs> have some opportunities to get even clearer in my marketing and my messaging sometimes. But um, <laughs> that's a whole funny story. But I was like bouncing from topic to topic, really trying to get clear on like my messaging and doing all these things. And the truth is, is when we live in a space where we believe that we're making a mistake or that we're behind or that we should be further ahead than where we are now, we will never be happy or satisfied or fulfilled. We'll always be disappointed. We'll always be anxious that we are failing in some way. So there's these two trains of thought that at any given moment we get to choose what we want to be on. And this is why it matters. This is why the application, this is where it gets real for you. And this is where the truth bombs show up in your life is when you believe that everything is happening for you, your frame of mind, your perception, your explanatory method. And there's so much amazing research to back this stuff up, guys. It sees and identifies opportunities that prove you right. No matter what's going on in your life, you're proving yourself right always at any given moment so if you believe your life is happening to you and you're a victim guess what bibs that's right you're right you're absolutely 100 percent right but if you believe that life is happening for you and that the universe is conspiring for you to help to create epic magical fantabulous growth opportunities and experiences to make your story really rich and vibrant guess what you're absolutely right and what you believe to be true you absolutely create attract and you perceive it to be true so when I believe that things are working for me guess what would happen if my flight was delayed the minute my flight was delayed I would begin looking for the reasons why this is the best thing for me and I would find them and then I would utilize those opportunities to grow versus if I was in a wham wham whiny bitch victim mentality I would be oh this this horrible things always happen to me why is this happening to me poor me wham 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 and guess what I would miss the opportunities I would miss the growth I would miss those magical connections with someone important in the airport or that flight attendant or that that gate chick that needs a smile or some insight you know what I'm saying you guys feeling me give me some hearts up there if you're feeling me on this because this is truly the key at least I get to see you today hi Carrie hi Melina so you guys if my crazy story of being up since three in the morning and experiencing you know being crazy in my brain about potentially missing my flight can lend anything to your life it would just be this that at any given moment you get to choose what you believe and when you believe that the universe is here to support you, that it loves you, and that everything is happening for you, it will. And life is magical. But if you believe you're a victim, you will be. All right, you guys. Someone needs to hear this message. We have a lot of victim mentality going around on the planet. It's so easy to get sucked into it. Here I am, a mind mentor. This is what I do. I'm pumping positive music and inspirational audios and trainings and videos into my life 24-7, coaching all the time, all day long, and I still can fall prey to this negative mindset and way of thinking. And if it can happen to me, it can happen to you. So maybe you send this in a personal message. Maybe you tag somebody below. Maybe you share it on your wall. But let people know that it's a choice at any given moment. And whatever we choose, we're right. Okay. Carrie, this is just what I was looking for today. My life is working for me. Absolutely. Judy Craft, just what you need to hear. Hey, Aaron. Brad, perfect message, perfect timing. Thank you. Thank you guys for being here. Go ahead and share this out. Just so you know, I've just put together a private Facebook group for all of my epic legacy people. So this is all about you living your legacy and not attempting to leave a legacy, right? Your life is your message every single day, how you are living and showing up. If you want to join this, click the link above 
asked to join this group, I'm going to be doing some really fun, powerful stuff in here, some live Q&As and some really juicy interactions. So go and join that if you're ready to stay connected to me in a whole new way and to join this community of powerhouse people. I'm talking like epic, badass people that are not settling anymore in their life. They're not going to make excuses. They know that they're their creator of their experience. All right. I love you guys. Take care and make it a great day.